Hi, in this video we're going to learn how to create a custom shortcut in VS Code. And if you are using any of the JavaScript frameworks, you probably use console.log a lot to troubleshoot your application. For example, I'm using an Angular application here, and if I want to see the result of this API call, I'm going to type console.log and in parentheses put my results getting from that API call and if I go to my application and refresh it so I can see my JSON here in the console and if you do it again and again you start wondering if there's a shortcut for that and if you start googling you might see that uh, it will say control shift L will put console.log on the screen and you try it so I'm trying it right now Control shift l and nothing is happening and the reason for that is because Visual Studio Code is not shipped with default shortcuts, custom shortcuts, you have to create them yourself and it's actually really easy to do so let's create one for console.log so to do that go to file preferences keyboard shortcuts so here you can see all default shortcuts. So to create your own one, go to this right top corner and this icon is gonna say open keyboard shortcuts, click on it. And here you have actually an empty screen and it is gonna tell you place your key bindings in this file to override the defaults. So if you go to VS Code website, there's actually the whole article about how to create and it's almost like its own language. I already have it created and saved. So let's just paste it and we're gonna talk about it. So make sure it's in array. So, and the reason for that, because you can create multiple shortcuts and the way you do it, you just put comma here and put another here and you can put another comma here. So you, you, you are creating an array of shortcuts. So, but we don't need this right now. So let's just have it here. And here, the key value defines what shortcut are using and the command, you can read in that article what it all means. And the main line that actually performs uh, placing your console.log on the screen in this line. So it's going to play this here and it's going to grab the text from the screen and put it inside parentheses. And uh, this dollar one shows where your cursor is going to be. So it's going to be inside those parentheses after you uh, put this console that log on the screen. So let's save it. I'll push Control S to save it. And I'll go back to the code and I'll do Control Shift L. So here I have it and I can just type my variable in there. And another way I can do it, I can just type res and I can highlight it. And now if I press Control shift l it's going to place console log on the screen and put my variable inside those parentheses. And this is how you create a custom shortcut in VS Code. Thank you for watching.